Out in the garden lurks a camouflaged killer. Only question is, can I catch it? What's up guys, welcome back to Can I Catch, the nature show all about finding a wildlife adventure right at home in your own backyard. Do you have a taste for adventure and like exploring? Subscribe to my channel and come with me as I explore my wild backyard. Today's episode, we're going after an elusive camouflaged killer that's been seen lurking out in the vegetable garden. My goal is to catch one and get it up close for the cameras. So if you're ready, let's get outside and start this adventure. What we're looking for today is the pale green assassin bug. These guys are ambush predators that lurk on plants searching for insects that they can catch, kill, and ultimately eat. The vegetable garden we have here at home is home to tons of different flying insects and various herbivores like katydids, leafhoppers, and plant hoppers that could make excellent meals and a great hunting ground for a pale green assassin bug. I want to check flowery plants because these attract a lot of flying insects. One of our assassin bug targets could be lurking next to one of these flowers, hoping for a nice tasty bee or fly to come by for a drink of nectar. I don't see any predator activity here, so let's go to the next area that I think we might be able to find one. See, I want to look on tall, leafy, vascular plants, which are usually home to caterpillars, katydids, and leafhopper type insects, because these herbivores could be unsuspecting prey for this camouflaged predator. So, I think we've got a better chance of finding one of these assassin bugs out there. The diversity of viney and vascular plants out here offer a wide variety of food items for potential herbivores, which in turn attract carnivores. See, while we're out here looking, we might be able to chance an encounter with different praying mantises as well. So, I'm just kind of examining every single plant, hoping to get a glimpse of some kind of camouflaged predator. Alright guys, over here on this maple sapling, I've found our target insect. Now we're going to try and catch it. Wait, 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 we got a problem here. See, there's one kind of insect that I don't like messing with, and that is wasps. And we've got a wasp on the same exact plant as our assassin bug. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to have to move very carefully so as not to aggravate the wasp so it doesn't come off and try to sting me or something. The bite from an assassin bug is painful, but very easily preventable. A sting from a wasp, not as preventable. Wait, guys, look at this, look at this. Turns out this wasp actually has either a malformed wing or a damaged wing from an encounter with a predator of some sort. So the whole time I was worried, I was actually worried about nothing because this wasp cannot actually fly off the leaf and attack me. So I think it's time to go ahead and capture our assassin bug. Now, I've repurposed an old iPhone case as a capture jar. Uh, this way I can catch spiders and other bitey insects and stuff without chancing a bite. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the plastic case and encapsulate the assassin bug with the case so that I don't have to risk a bite. All right guys, we've got him. Now to get him up close with the cameras. Have a look at this insect. With its slow movement, yellow green coloration, and that brownish tinge in its wings, this guy is incredibly camouflaged on most leafy plants. I don't know exactly what it is, but something about camouflaged insects, especially the predators, how well they mimic and blend into their environment, I just find it fascinating. Just think, you're a katydid having a nice leafy snack, and you happen to wander over what looks like another part of the leaf. And then wham, that beak that you can see on this assassin bug pierces your shell. You're immediately flooded with digestive juices and you slowly die as the assassin bug eats you. Pretty morbid, but also just super fascinating. Now that's the thing about these guys. Any kind of assassin bug, they all have these beaks, these beak-like mouth parts. And if that bites you, their digestive juices are a form of venom and it will hurt terribly. Do not get bitten by an assassin bug. It is not fun, I don't recommend it. If you're ever encountering an assassin bug out in your backyard, it's always safe to just admire from a distance. If you feel confident that you can catch it without actually handling it, then by all means, go ahead. But do be careful. Now these guys are primarily ambush predators, but this specific genus of assassin bug is known to hunt other insects. And what's really cool is they will use a sticky secretion that they will fire out at their prey item so they can go tackle them and, well, same way as with that Katie did example I gave you, pierce them with that beak and kill them and eat them. 
Now this guy was released back into the garden so he can go back to hunting insects and I went about my day. Always exciting finding cool camouflaged insects in your garden and I hope you guys get to experience the same thing. But that's all for this episode so I hope you liked this video, like it if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel to come with me as I explore my wild backyard and I hope to see you in the next episode. But until then, don't forget to get outside and find your own adventure.